Hi, I'm Holly Clardy, and I'm going to uh, show you some information on doing an applique. And I'm going to do some step-by-steps and uh, blend all these little video clips together and give you quite a bit of detailed information. Hope this can be helpful to you. Thanks! This is a, a little pattern that I have bought and it's just a very plain dress. Um, as you can see on the left here, this one has a very plain front and I'm going to put a little applique there. I'm making a, a dress for my little granddaughter. Now what I'm doing here, um, I have printed off from uh, one, a website some free applique designs and I've decided that uh, this particular flower is a little bit smaller than I want it to be. So I am merely tracing around the pattern pieces to enlarge it just a little bit. And um, you can do your own applique by looking in a coloring book, a child's coloring book, or just look around many of the things around you and see ideas, uh, either trace a pattern off, or if you're very artistic, you could draw your own, own pattern. And now I am just merely placing my flower pieces on my area just to see if this is the size that I want. Now I have my uh, little pieces of fabric that I'm going to use for the applique. And I'm just going to place my pattern piece on there and trim around it. You can see that I've got my flowers kind of laid on here. I don't have them. Uh, stitched down by any stretch at this point, but I have uh, cut out my flowers and just kind of done a quick placement of them. Hi, I'm using this um, applique product and it is called Light Steam A Seam 2 and it's just a lightweight um, substance and they have uh, tissue paper applied to both sides of this fusible webbing. It's, it's sticky on both sides, which is great. It helps to keep the um, applique where you want it. And you can easily pick it up and move it to a different place. <clears throat> and it's very movable before you fuse it down with the iron. These are one of the little flower petals that I have cut out with this uh, fusible uh, webbing stuff for the applique. And it's a little bit tedious, as you can see, to go around your little piece, but certainly very doable. And what I wanted to show you here is getting the separating the uh, tissue paper. Just try to get it up under the edge here. And it's just a little bit tricky, but it's certainly very doable. That's one side of it, and the back side, just trying to get hold of it there. So there is the tiny little flower petal that I'm going to be doing, and it very easily sticks onto the back of this fabric, like this. There we go. Now, just going to place it onto my little piece here. Now you can see it. Now you can see I have these placed onto my fabric and the next step will be to press them into place with the iron. Okay, now you can see I have these laid on here and I am taking just an old piece of cotton cloth and I have dampened it and that is just to help um, protect the fabric. I'll lay it on here and you are to use the fusible, uh, with the fusible stuff you follow the directions in this set about 10 to 15 seconds. And you hold your iron in place and I always use the second hand on my watch so that I know that I'm doing it the correct length of time. That has been 10 seconds. 
And I'm going to do this little area for 10 seconds. And then you'll be able to pull the cloth off and check your area and make sure that it fused in all the areas. And that's that can happen. You get little sticky areas and that's the other advantage of using the cloth is to um, keep that from getting onto your iron. And it has all sealed correctly so that's very good. Now I have another small piece here that I have um, just cut a little scrap of fabric and done this to, to for my test piece that I do for testing my uh, stitch length and all that kind of stuff for my applique. And I'm going to use the hot iron. I have the fusible um, stuff in between. And I'm going to use my hot iron for another 10 seconds and prepare this piece so that I can um, do my test stitch and see what stitch length I need and the width of the stitches and that kind of thing. It's always good to do it on a, a scrap piece of fabric first and figure out exactly how you want your stitches to be with your applique. And that's fused very well and you just let it dry a little bit and then you're going to be ready to sew with it. Okay, the next step I'm going to do here is to uh, start stitching and I have uh, chosen a stitch width and length right now and this is my test piece so I'm going to see how it and let's see how it goes here sometimes when you do that make your stitches so close together then it tends to um, clump up with the bobbin thread and not feed properly. So I'm going to lengthen it back out just a little bit more. But as you can see, that's pretty good. So I'm going to try it again around the pink and I'm going to use the pink thread around the pink and I'm just, I did green thread on this blue. That's not what I would do normally. I would normally do I'm going to do the green thread around the green stems and green leaves, but that gives you a good idea. Okay, now I'm going to start doing the applique around these flowers, and you can do applique with any machine that will do a zigzag stitch. And as I said earlier, you'd always want to do a test first and see um, what stitch width and length is going to work best for your work that you're doing. Just follow around it. You go slow enough. Always go slow enough so that you can um, get it correct. <laughs> because applique is very likely you'll tear up your fabric if you have to pull out stitches. So it's just always best to try to get it right the first time. Okay, as you can see, I've made it away, quite a bit away around most of the flowers and I'm going around the yellow one. And I'm just having to go slow because this one has a lot of curves. Just wanted to show you that part. And um, the main thing, you just have to kind of take your time with this. And I will show you the finished product again in just a few more minutes. Okay, you can see I have these finished and there is a little bit of puckering that probably could have been avoided by putting um, a piece of sticker fabric back there as a stabilizer.